last now. It's really extraordinary to see that. And, but one thing I have to tell you, no matter if it was then, 500 years ago in the pencil, or if it is now in Alibaba, it is not government that has created all those successes. It is the individual that creates all the successes. It's the magic of the free market. It is the, uh, the magic of the free enterprise that creates all of those kind of magic, these kind of successes. There's no better example than the story of two young women from New York. You probably have heard this story, Susie and Katie. Two years ago, they were your typical fun-loving college students, and they worked on Wall Street. They did intern. And then, it was bad luck, because when they were finished with their studies, and when they were about to graduate, the economy went down. And there were no jobs for them at all, especially no jobs that they were looking for. So what did they do? They started looking around a little bit, thinking while they were sitting in their dorm, and then they came up with an idea. They said, look, every time we were working, our feet were hurting because we were wearing high heels all day long. Why don't we take those shoes that we created and slip off those high heels and put on those shoes, and the shoes we can put in our handbag? So they came up with this idea, maybe we should mass produce shoes like that. So that women can quickly switch shoes during the day and have their shoes in a handbag. But they got stuck. Because they said to themselves, who is going to go and create those shoes? Who is going to manufacture those shoes? So what did they do? They went on Alibaba.com and soon connected with a manufacturer right here in China. And let me tell you something. Last, uh, just a year ago, in June, they started and launched a company. And now, a little less than a year later, they have now sold tens of thousands of pairs of shoes and making a lot of money. That's because of Alibaba. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because there's so many, so many conversations all the time about what government's responsibility is when there's an economic crisis or a slowdown. But let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Entrepreneurs like Susie and Katie, entrepreneurs like all of you sitting in here in this great hall are doing much more to stimulate the economy than any government program ever can do.